still running. Hi, everybody. Okay, here you go. That's funny right there. Well, if you were wondering, I'm no longer worried about drying out. I do still have my fish. I think everything's still attached. The big question remains is how many of my very expensive fishing poles are still in there? And does everything still work? So let's get it flipped over and find out. All right, let's get this up. Now you listen, I'm gonna give you a little bit of line. Don't you go running away with my fishing pole. There you go. You just stay right there. After all the chaos you caused, I'm measuring you. There you go, drain, baby, drain. Oh shit, it's off from here. You don't have to spot lock when the tie is upside down. All the electronics still work. Can you fucking believe that? I kept both shoes. Okay. Oh, thank God, you're still here. Worth it. Alright guys, let's measure this fish and then sit down for a minute. Alright guys, lesson one for today. Always carry a manual bilge pump. They're gone now, so I'm gonna say it. I didn't want to say it when they were here because I didn't want to get into a whole thing. Don't be those other guys. Those two dudes in that bass boat never once asked me if I was okay. Never came over and offered to help. Didn't bother like going and retrieving any of my stuff that's floating. They just kept doing what they were doing. And then when I was like, hey, how's it going? They're like, how are you? I said, okay. And they just keep going on. Like, don't be that way. If you're out on a boat, you have a responsibility to help others. And don't worry, I'll figure this out myself. I go fishing by myself all the time because I can handle this on my own. But that's bullshit. And I expect better of all of you and better of myself. They can be that way. We're not going to be that way. Today's lesson number two. Let's see if we can get to that back hatch. We'll put you we'll put you guys back in the holder in a minute. Let's get um I wanna 